What's up Cougar fans? Thanks for tuning in to my first official video on Cougar Power. And well, let's get to it. So I want to talk about something I noticed and you may have noticed it as well. So I've been following the Cougars for a couple years now and after analyzing stats about the team and just staying updated, I realized, oh my gosh, the roster we have going into our 2017 year could possibly be the most talented roster we've had in a very long time. Now, as pretty much all Cougar fans know, we have Ed Oliver and Kyle Allen now, but if you haven't been paying much attention to our roster lately, you're in for a big surprise. Now, let me just show you what I mean with this. Okay, now this is just a list I put together of players that are on our roster that are four stars or above, well, with the exception of, of Joe Anderson right here. He's a highly rated three-star recruit. But just look at these players, man. Now we have six ESPN 300 players, two junior college 50 players, and three other uh, highly recruited for and very talented four-star players. This right here is something that I usually would expect to see with a power five school, definitely not a group of five, which is where Houston is at the moment. And that's just one, another point with a roster like this, well obviously this isn't the entire roster, but with players on your team like this, with this many of them, th that's something that a Power 5 school usually has. That's just another characteristic of Houston that shows why we should be Power 5. Now let's just go through these players really quick. We all obviously have Ed Oliver, a very, very good player. He actually exceeded all expectations last year lived up completely to how good he was. That number four spot on the ESPN 300 perfectly uh, showed how good he was. And then we have Kyle Allen, a very talented quarterback. Uh, he was the number one quarterback coming out of high school in the entire country. Um, recruited by A&M, did very well there, but then decided to transfer to Houston. And hopefully he'll do very good. That's what everybody's thinking. And now here's Brian Jones. We just recruited him last year, part of the class of 2017. Uh, one of the top defensive ends in the state of Louisiana. He should be very good as well. Here's De'Aaron King, number 202 on the ESPN 300. He was a quarterback in high school and we, he should be the backup for Kyle Allen is what everybody's thinking right now. Courtney Lark. Donald Catalan or, or Duke Catalan, uh, both very good. Courtney Lark was very good in the spring game, and Catalan showed us how good he was as well during last season. Here's the Ty Rogers, who played for us last year as well, offensive tackle. Joe Anderson, and then these three players are all transfers from different schools. Dion Mix from Auburn, Reggie Chevis from AM, and Patrick Carr from Colorado. All three very good players. Patrick Carr stood out very well at the spring game, and all of them uh, are going to be able to be playing this coming year, in 2017, which is very good. And we should see a lot from Patrick Carr, will probably be the backup of Duke Catalan, and maybe even get to start. But here's my point. With six ESPN 300 players, two junior college 50 players, and three highly rated four-star players, Man, we should have a very talented year, very talented roster next year. And this list doesn't even include some of the returning starters from last year, like Linnell Bonner. So yeah, we have lots of returning starters, like Linnell Bonner, Nick Thurman, Ed Oliver's brother Marcus, uh, Matthew Adams, Garrett Davis. I could go on all day with these players. We have so many other players that weren't even on that list that will still make a huge impact next year. And I almost forgot, we also have another transfer coming in that'll be eligible to play this coming season, who's a wide receiver, Ellis Jefferson, who just transferred from Arizona State. So, so yeah, our roster next year, man, it's going to be really, really something special. It's going to be very talented. And I'm aware that talent, that talent alone won't make a team win, but 
That plus Major Applewhite's coaching, which I'm very confident in, we should have a great season next year. And that was just something I noticed. I wanted to share it with y'all. Uh, that same list that was that I just showed y'all is also on my Twitter. Uh, y'all can go see. I may put a link in the description. Uh, that's all I've got for today. And go Cougs.